Hey guys, welcome back. So I decided since I was already sitting here and doing some videos and I have a little bit of extra time before I start my essays, that I would go ahead and do a video on the ARC system by Staples. Um, I know they also have, Martha Stewart has a dispound system as well, and then I know um, Levenger has a dispound system. But I chose the ARC system um, mainly because of the convenience to me, and I didn't have to order anything online. Um, so what started on the ARC system was I had my Erin Condren planner, and as I've mentioned before, the spiral system or the coil bound system or whatever you want to call it did not work for me. So I was looking into other options and I had come across a post about somebody else that had the ARC system and I loved the colors of the disc and I loved the way that you could take things in and out and I thought maybe it would work. But I didn't want to make the, you know, the huge leap into the ARC system without trying it out first since I had never seen it in person. I didn't really know how it worked. I had some really, you know, hesitant feelings about whether the paper would come off the desk or not. Um, so I had a lot of just really discomfort feelings about the ARC system, not seeing it in person. So I decided that, um, I would wait and kind of just fiddle around with the idea. Well, I went ahead and ordered a gold edition um, notebook from Erin Condren. And when I got it, the coil had the gold chipping off of it. And I was very upset because I was so excited about the gold. I'd never seen it in person. I really wanted to see what it looked like but the coil did not work for me. So I thought, you know, hey, perfect time to try out the ARC system. So I decided to ARC my gold notebook um, just to see how I liked it and, you know, possibly go from there to ARC my Erin Condren. Um, I bought the Staples ARC Punch. Um, it was $40, $50, something like that. And then I bought some discs to kind of try out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about so that you can kind of see, but I just wanted to kind of tell you where I was at um, and how I got into the disbound system. So let's go ahead and get in and we will start with the air. Okay, so as you can see, I have the gold edition with the turquoise background. Um, I have a pink sticky note to kind of cover up my name. Um, so, and then of course it came with the gold bands, which I really liked the colors. Um, the color in itself was really pretty. Like I said, the main thing I was disappointed about was the spiral. Um, so I went ahead and did the disbound system. Right here, I have the half inch, I wanna say it is, that typically comes with the leather uh, notebooks that you buy. I ended up buying a notebook because, um, like I said, I decided that the system wouldn't work, but I didn't want to waste the money that I had spent on the ARC system. Now, they have several different sizes. Um, I've got a couple here to show you. These are, I want to say they're the half inch. Um, it didn't say, obviously, because it came with the notebook system. So they're small and petite. Okay, these are the one inch disc. I bought these separately and these are the lime green ones. And you can tell they're a little bit bigger. And then these I bought in several different colors. I bought them in the black, the blue, and the pink. And these are the one and a half inch, which is what I was expecting to use with the Erin Condren Life Planner. Um, and you can tell that they are just quite a bit bigger. Originally, I had this with the pink disc and it was way too big. So I had went out and bought some of these. Um, I bought them in black and they were still a little too big. Um, not a lot, just, just a little bit. So when I got the notebook, I ended up getting the um, ones off of the notebook and I'll show you that in just a second. And I used these for the notebook or the Erin Condren notebook. So um, let's just go ahead and look inside. I noticed when they had the bigger rings, the, paper, the pages were really, really hard to turn. And I didn't like that. That was one thing that I did not like about the ARC system. Another thing that I noticed is because the pages are so thick, 
in this notebook, which now mind you, I want to say that this paper is a less um, thick paper than the Life Planner because it actually does bleed and shadow a lot more than the Life Planner does. So that's another thing to keep into consideration is I noticed since the paper was so much thicker, it came out so much easier, which I thought was really weird. Um, but since I've made the just smaller, the paper turns a lot better. It still pops out um, on occasions, but I actually like it a lot better. Now, mind you, I don't have the keep it together pouch into this small, and I don't have the um, just zipper pouch in it either. So if you wanted to add those in there, you would definitely have to go up and maybe put something else inside. Um, I did not do the edging perfectly, as you can see on the paper. Um, so, I don't, I don't know if you can tell, but it, it's definitely um, uneven on the sides. Another thing that I did not like about the arc system was that when I was doing the punch, it was very hard to find exactly where the paper should go in the punch for the Erin Condren. Um, and also on this notebook, you notice that I have a huge, huge, huge amount of extra space of the cover up here and an extra coil that doesn't get used for the cover. I know that I punched them a little differently. Um, I lined it up at the bottom and I guess maybe I just didn't line the cover up well enough or I didn't line the paper up well enough. At the bottom of the paper and the top of the paper, you can see where another hole was trying to be punched. Um, let me see if I can get this to show you how it looks. Um, you can see right here where the hole was going to be punched onto the paper. So that means that the paper is just a little too big for the punch in my opinion. Um, I've seen several people be able to punch their Erin Condren Life Planners and I'm not sure if they had that problem. I've not seen anybody else say that they did. But um, I mean I'll, I'll use the notebook. I haven't decided what I'm going to use it on yet. I didn't have a direct you know, use for this one when I got it other than I wanted to see how the gold looked and I had a really good keep on. So I decided to do that. Um, so yeah, with the smaller discs, I mean, again, you'd have to buy the notebook as far as I know to get these smaller discs though. I did not see them in my staples as an option to buy the smallest disc, but I feel like with these smaller discs, the pages turn great. With the bigger disc, they didn't. Um, and I know with the Life Planner, you'd have to use the bigger disc because there's so much paper in it. So that is how I started with the ARC system. Well, when I was doing my home binder, as some of you noticed, I had a finances section. I decided that I didn't like my finances um, in the planner because if I take it somewhere or anything like that, I didn't want it to be out there. Um, I'd like to keep my finances at home. So I went ahead and bought the leather notebook uh, cover through the ARC system. And then, of course, you can see I have the... Um, green, the lime green on the side, which I really like the color mixture. Um, and I feel like with this cover on it, the arc system is so much better. The thin paper doesn't come out. The, um, I haven't had any problems with the papers turning. I haven't had any problems with the cover coming off with the Erin Condren cover. I had the cover, co you know, start to kind of come off a little bit a couple times, which I really didn't like. These are a very hard, hard plastic. Um, so, and of course I just have an Erin Condren band on here. Gotta love it. Um, so what I did for this, like I said, I wanted it to be for a financial binder. I got the notebook and then I also got an extra set of notebook paper. Um, so what I did, I also got these zipper pouches for receipts so I can keep my receipts in here. And then I just have it sections. Um, I have this section and then I have another section back here. I used the, um little note tablets that you can buy. I use these just to section them because it's got a little tab at the top and I had already gotten them because my husband needed them for his arc system. So um, 
I can't really show you everything. Basically, the first page is a list of all of our bills that we pay and when they're due, what account they come out of, and all of that fun jazz. And then I have my section, and then I go to a part where I have it sectioned off by the date I spent it, where I spent it, how much I spent, what it was on, like groceries or fun money or, you know, fast food, whatever, and then my balance. So I use it as a check registry. The reason why I decided to do this was because I had previously used like a little checkbook with the registry in it. I don't write checks and I kept losing my registry. So I knew that it wasn't going to work for me, but I wanted to get back into keeping track of what I spend and what my husband spends and yada yada. So I decided to use this system to try it out. Again, I didn't want to waste the ARC system because the punch is rather expensive. Um, I feel like it works really well. Um, the pen obviously kind of, you know, shadows or whatever. I'm just using a basic Walmart pen. Um, I don't even know who made it or anything. I bought these so many years ago. And um, I just like how it sits in there. So, you know, you go through and then I have it sections. Like I told you, I have another section back here for different accounts. And then at the very back, I put um, my on the go notebook calendar that I had purchased. I don't think you can purchase these anymore. I know that she made a new notebook. Um, so, and I believe you can purchase these inside of them. But these were separate and I liked how small they were because they fit perfectly in here. I have to kind of tuck them underneath the strap because they are a little bit, you know, wider than the A5 page. Basically what I do is on the days that we get paid, I will put how much we get paid that day. Um, and then on the side, I have when all of our bills due, and then I keep track of how much I spend on each bill. So that I can look back and notice when some of my bills were more expensive, or some of them were cheaper, or whatever. I like to keep track of that stuff. I feel like that this is perfect for this section. Um, I've seen a lot of people not know what to do with it. I absolutely love it for this section. I've noticed that the paper's still a little thick. Um, it doesn't come out as bad as the notebook paper did, but I have seen where the pages kind of bend right here, the disc are, and I've seen a couple times where my pages have started to lift because um, I originally had this in the notebook. So since I've moved it into this, I haven't noticed any issues yet. Um, so I feel like it works rather well. I really like the coloring. I really like how this is. Do I feel like I could use it as a planner? No, I feel like I'm way too attached to the planners that I have, but I really like this for a financial buying. All right, so I just kind of wanted to give you a little insight of my opinion on the ARC system. I've seen a lot of people on Facebook wondering if they should do the ARC system for their Erin Condren's or... Um, I'm on a couple Facebook pages um, where they thought about, you know, different arc systems, different colors, etc. I just wanted to, you know, give my opinion on how I liked or disliked the system. I feel like it's a great system and it's a great idea. I don't feel like it's as sturdy as the Kiki K or even the Coil, you know, system. I feel like it's kind of... To me, it's a little more cautious because you might lose your papers, which was a big thing for me. And so that's why I did the, um, you know, system with the binder uh, system. So if you have any questions or any opinions or anything that you want to pass on, you know, that I didn't touch base on, just let me know. I um, will probably be doing an overview of um, my Erin Condren haul next. I have several items that I absolutely love by her. I have not gotten the new notebook, and I will give my opinion on that next. Um, so if you're interested, stay tuned, and hopefully I will get that up this week. Thanks for watching.